Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn how to model a monopole telecommunication tower using the SAFI TSC application. SAFI TSC is a leading structural engineering software for the analysis and design of various types of tower structures. The software accounts for advanced structural analysis and design of steel lattice transmission towers, electrical substations, telecommunication lattice towers, guide mass, tubular poles, and multi-pole frames according to the latest American and Canadian standards such as TIA-222H, TIA-222G, S37-18, ASCE-10-15, and ASCE-4811. In this example, we are going to model, analyze, and design a 109-foot monopole tower. We will learn how to create the structure, how to add discrete attachment loads on the tower, how to generate loads and load combinations automatically according to a specific standard, run the analysis and display the different graphical and numerical analysis results, and also how to display the design check results. First, let's start by creating a new file. We will set the unit system to Imperial Units. We will then click OK to validate. We will save the file at the same time we are renaming it. Monopole Tower is divided into two types. Circular pole is a kind of monopole having a cross section diameter similar from the bottom to the top. Tapered pole is a kind of monopole that has a cross section diameter that varies with the elevation of the pole. The tower in this example was originally built to 99 feet in height. It was later modified by adding a 10 foot extension making the overall height of the tower 109 feet. We will start by defining the elevation of the tower sections. We create three joints by using the joints command from the tables menu. If you click on the arrow down button, you can add a new row to the list. Then, we use the add member command to create the members. We assign fixed support conditions to the base of the tower by double clicking on the bottom joint. Now in this example, we will use a tapered 18 sided tubular section and a round tubular section. Tubular sections are defined as non-standard sections in SAFI TSE. For this example, the material used is a standard ASTM a572-65 steel. Use the materials command from the tables menu to select the material from the SAFI material standard library. The next step will be to create the tubular sections using the non-standard sections command. We create the 18 sided sections, select the material A572-65, then select the section type, tube, 18 sided, add a section name, then Click Add to add the section to the database. We create the round tubular sections in a similar way. Now, we are ready to assign the sections to the members. We can edit the attribute of an individual member by double clicking on it. For the structural analysis, members, for which a tubular section with variable inertia is associated, are analyzed as a prismatic member with constant inertia. To increase the analysis precision, the member must be subdivided, for example, by using a subdivide command. The subdivision of the member may be performed at any time before the analysis. To select the design check standard, we click on the Design Codes and Standards Parameters button on the tubular toolbar. We select TIA-222H standard from the drop-down list. Now, let's add discrete attachment loads to the tower. First, we need to define the properties of the attachments. We then click on the Antenna Definition button on the Tower Telecom toolbar. The appurtenances in this example are 12 similar antennas mounted on a low profile platform. A generic type attachment is a type of discrete attachment where all dimensions and properties are user defined 
including the normal and transverse area for the wind force calculation. When the number of attachments is different than 1, the loading on the antenna will be multiplied by that number. In this case, we define the number of attachments equal to 4, which means that the wind loads, the ice loads, and the dead loads will be multiplied by 4. To add the appurtenance to the model, we use the add antenna command on the addition toolbar. Then, we click on the top joint of the tower where to attach the appurtenance. In the spatial object attributes dialog box, we assign the attachment properties to the spatial object. Also, we add a two foot offset to the attachment in the Z direction. The last step is to copy the loading of the antennas on the two other faces of the tower. We use the rotate copy extrude command on the addition toolbar to create two copies of the attachment. We specify the rotation axes as Y and 120 degrees rotation angle. Finally, we add another 12 discrete attachments, like the previous ones, at 99 feet in height by copying the already created appurtenances using the move, copy, extrude command on the addition toolbar. We can display the attachments including the dishes, antennas, and feed lines in a solid form and change their color by changing the display options of spatial objects. It is also possible to change the display color of each attachment individually. Now that all the appurtenances are defined, it is time to now generate the loads and the load combinations. We will use the wind and ice load generator command on the general loads toolbar to create automatically all the basic loads, the loads, and load combinations. The wind and ice load generator command automatically creates the dead load, the wind loads, wind, wind on ice, service, ice load, thermal loads, load combinations according to the selected distribution method. We select the distribution method as TIA222H. We select the tower type as poles. Then, we define the terrain parameters, wind velocities, and ice parameters. Finally, we define the wind azimuths. We then click on generate. We can see the display graphically in all the generation loads and load combinations. It is possible to display one or a selection of the basic loads by changing the display options of the loads in the load visibility command on the camera toolbar. SAFI TSC provides detailed wind and ice table loads including all the factors used to compute the wind pressure and ice thickness. To display wind loads on the tower in numerical tables, we use the commands member wind loads and antenna wind loads on the general loads toolbar. In this case, the different numerical results can be filtered before being displayed. Depending on the requested type of results, the filters will be activated or deactivated such as elements and basic loads. Ice loads on the tower are available as well in numerical tables. We use the commands member ice loads and antenna ice loads on the general loads toolbar as well. Click on this button to analyze the model and design check members according to the TIA222H. We select a nonlinear analysis and set the number of steps to 20. Then, we select Verification Tubular TIA-222H in the Design option. There are other types of analysis that are available in SAFI TSC, such as P-delta analysis, nonlinear analysis, frequency analysis, buckling analysis, and seismic analysis. We then click on Run to perform the analysis. 
graphical analysis and design results in Safi can be displayed for all load combinations or for a selection of them. We can select which load combination will be displayed from the Load Combination button on the Results toolbar. This dialog box can be left open while displaying the graphical results. We check the box in the Analysis section of the Results toolbar. We can see the internal deformations are displayed on the tower. Different analysis results can be displayed graphically such as internal forces, reactions, and stresses. Another interesting way to display results is through the animation. Press the Animate button on the Static Analysis dialog box to start animation. For the nonlinear analysis only, we can display deformations for each load steps through the animation and diagrams. Analysis results can be displayed as well as in numerical tables. The numerical results may be filtered before being displayed. It is possible to restrain the displayed results to the selected elements or to display them for the entire model. It is also possible to display the results for a specific load combination. In addition, we can display results on individual members using the Analysis Element Results on the Results toolbar. This command allows to view the selected results at any calculation point in any element in the model. The window is made of a graph and a table. The Settings button allows to change the graph title and axis titles as well as the title fonts. The two print buttons allow to respectively print the numerical results table and the current graph. The Copy button allows you to copy the image of the graph to the clipboard for use in external applications. We deselect Analysis Results checkbox in the Analysis section of the Results toolbar. And Check the box on the tubular section of the results toolbar. The design check results are presented under the form of colors corresponding to a percentage of design criteria. To display the results, select the type of results wanted in the upper section of the Tower Display Results Options dialog box. It is possible to modify the display colors by double clicking on the color rectangle to modify. The percentages of criteria associated to various colors can also be customized. It is also possible to view the numerical results for limit states for the entire structure or part of the structure through tables. We click on this button in the Telecom section of the Results toolbar. Then, we select from the displayed menu which type of limit state to view. Any results table in Safi can be exported to an Excel spreadsheet by selecting the command Generate Report from the menu table. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Safi's YouTube channel and visit our website www.safi.com to stay updated on the latest features of the software.